I'm back. This is for parents mostly, but it's also for the kids because we've got this great time where we can be learning things that are fun. And so I just wanted to share, oh, it's so hard to see, right down here. This little app is called Duolingo and it's D-U-O-L-I-N-G-O. -O. So Duolingo helps you learn new languages. And this is what it looks like. And at the beginning of the year, I was working on learning Spanish, but then things got crazy and I just kind of dropped off. So I thought what I would do was pick it back up and share a lesson with you. And you can download Duolingo to a phone or a tablet and your kids could practice or you could all learn. And it's not just Spanish. You could learn English, Chinese, French, German. Oh my goodness, the list is forever. So that would help you learn languages. And I figured we're already working on the A, B, Cs and signs. Why not add another language? So here's where I was. Okay. Um, trial I am at. Mm. And it's been a little while. So I'm going to have to figure this out and remember some words. So the first thing is a picture. And it wants me to, to tell which one of these is the milk. So I know that the milk, oh, sorry about this, is la leche. Oops, let's turn it back up a little. Okay, try it again. Oh. La leche. So it tells me the sound or the word. And then at the bottom, I'm not going to show you everything. That says, I got it right. So I'm going to continue. How do you say you are? I think it's eres. Eres. Yes. So the next one. Select the correct translation. The boy. El hombre. Uh-oh. El niño. It was el niño. But here's the thing. I've missed it, so I'll go on. But they're going to bring that back later. So I'll get a chance to make it right. How do you say milk? Leche. Leche. Select the correct translation. I eat bread. Um, yo como pan. I think that's it. Yo como pan. Yes. Tap the pairs. So now... I'm going to tap the pairs that match, like apple manzana. You are you. Um, yo, nope. I don't know that one. Um, she, it, whew, it's been a long time since I've done this. So, I is yo, yo. she is ella, ella. he is el. el, you are is eres. eres. It's been a long time. Tu eres so, so now it's telling me to eres un hombre, and I have to translate that. So, you are a man. Yes, I got it. I am not going to make you sit through this whole thing. It's already been four minutes. and I'm, You're pretty bored of watching me. I'm pretty sure I would be. But if you, if it's something you, that you would like to do, it is not expected. It's just one of those things that I want to give you more things to help your kids and to help you. I have two kids in my classroom who, te who come from Spanish-speaking homes. The better I can communicate with you parents, the better our kids do. So... Something I'm doing for me and my students. But we also live in a country where there are a lot of languages spoken in our area. There are people from India, Saudi Arabia, China, uh, Mexico. All kinds of opportunities for us to step out of our comfort zone and learn something new. So, enough of that for today. Duolingo.
feel free to shoot me a message if you have any questions about it. Talk to you later. Bye.